Morning everyone, Melissa with Fresh Blooming Clothing and I had a few sales over the weekend which surprised me because eBay gave me one cent listings for auctions so I put almost everything on auctions but I still sold like five or six things so I already packaged them, uh, put bows around them, put business cards in them so all we're going to do now is print the labels. The first thing that sold was a vest that I listed the night before. I listed it Saturday night. I must have listed it around 9 o'clock on Saturday night when I was listing. And when I woke up Sunday, yesterday morning, it had an offer on it. And I took the offer. It was actually a $35 offer. And I'm shocked because it had flaws on it. But who knows? I'll put a picture of it in. Okay, so I just marked German Vest on it so I could remember which package it was. The weight is 7.4 ounces, so I'll round that up to 8 ounces. And again, anything under 16 ounces can ship first class mail. First class mail is cheap, there's tracking, there's no insurance. But I'm guessing Anne in Michigan won't mind. Okay, so first class mail, eight ounces from me to Michigan costs three dollars and eighteen cents. Anne paid four dollars, so we did good. I'm going to purchase the label. And I should get another screen that just says print. Here we go. And here is the label. I use the Dymo Label Writer 450 Turbo, which works great for eBay. Let's see what we have next. I listed a blouse on Saturday night and I woke up to a best offer. I put best offer on both the vest and the blouse and both were 40. The vest had an offer of 35. This had an offer of $31. So I took both of those offers. I already packaged it and put it in a poly mailer. This weighs 9.1 ounces, so I'm going to round up to 10. And from me to Steve in Oregon, it's $3.50 for first class mail. He paid $5.50, so we did well there. And these were bigger mailers. These are the 12 by 15 poly mailers. I have smaller ones, but I wanted to make sure the items were both nicely folded since they were both silk. So I put a lot of tissue paper and stuff in and I really wanted to keep them flat. Next item up. The next item is a book. I got this book at the bins for a dollar. I don't usually sell books. I don't know books, but it was old. It was a copy of The Hunchback of Notre Dame, and it sold for $4.88. I should probably stay away from selling books. So these people had chosen, who is this? Philippe. Philippe chose media mail when checking out and for books and uh, other materials I can put a list on the screen of media mail and what it includes but basically like paper items uh, digital recordings I think is in the list um, 
media mail is cheapest. It even beats first class mail, but I'm guessing this book weighs over a pound. So if media mail wasn't an option, I would have had to ship it priority mail. Yeah, this is one pound four ounces. So to Georgia, it probably would have cost me about six fifty seven dollars to ship this. But media mail, which takes up to nine days, but still has tracking through eBay. Is going to cost me three dollars and seventeen cents because it's media mail. So Philippe put uh, Philippe paid four dollars, and this is going to Georgia, and I paid three dollars and seventeen cents. And again, media mail can be shipped. Really, anything can be shipped in this unless it's flat rate. So you can ship first class media mail you could even ship priority mail non-flat rate in one of these poly mailers then i had two lots of nail polish sell This nail polish was from the FabFitFun boxes. I got them in the FabFitFun boxes, so they weren't free, but I'm not doing per item. I'm just trying to make a $500 um, wash, so everything I kept and everything I gift kind of washes itself out, and I didn't pay anything for it. Uh, two of them were $9.88, and this is going to Christy in Texas. And this is 4.1 ounces, so I will round up to five. The scale I use, but I don't necessarily recommend, is the Palouse, and it's a model SP5. It only holds up to five pounds, and there's no hold button. So anything past five pounds, <laughs> I usually make my husband get on the scale, weigh the package, deduct the package. It's just get a scale that has more than five pounds. I've been using this one almost since day one and it's been great. I like that um, it's battery operated and I don't know if I've ever replaced the battery. That can't be right. I must have replaced the battery. It's so scratched up and I just keep it um, in a drawer because I don't like to have anything sitting out if we can help it. So I didn't want one that I had to constantly leave plugged in. So I got this one, but again, look for one that has at least 10 pounds and has a hold button. So if you put a package down and it's covering the top where you can't see it, you can hit that hold button and you can take the package off and see what it actually is. Okay, so first class mail from me to Christy in Texas costs me $2.79 and she paid $4. So we did okay. And we're going to go ahead and print postage. And at some point, I'm sure I'll figure out how to record my screen. But just know the screens I'm looking at have very personal information on it. Obviously, it's got people's addresses on it. So I don't know the workaround for that yet. I don't know the workaround for that yet. And the last item I'm shipping through eBay today is another lot of those nail polishes. And Julia says there's a buyer's note on it. It says, I love this stuff. Thanks so much. I love this stuff too, Julia. I don't usually wear nail polish, as I'm sure you've heard me say. And I painted my nails the same day I got the FabFitFun boxes. It's just like a ridge filler. And my nails are still wearing it and I don't see chips or anything but it's such a light color that I think if it did chip it's fine so this should also weigh about 4.1 ounces since it's the same exact thing as the last thing 
4.1 ounces, so I round up to five. And we're again at 279 for me to ship five ounces first class to Virginia. So we'll print and purchase that. That's everything I have to ship today. So I'm guessing tomorrow I'm gonna have to ship a lot more because almost all of my listings, which I have about 150 on right now, are on auction and they all end in 10 hours. <laughs> so tonight I'm gonna have all of those items come off and it looks like 21 items right now have a bid. So I'll probably have to do another lot of shipping tonight or tomorrow morning. Good morning everyone. It is Tuesday morning and I sold a bunch of stuff yesterday. Everything came off auction and eBay had given me one penny listings. So I basically put everything in my store on auction. So I am going to start shipping. And to start us off, I sold a lot of Disney stickers. There are eight sheets. Just wanna make sure I have them all. And I sold these for $4.99, and these probably cost me a quarter at the bins, if that. So these stickers are going to Christine, and Christine is in New Hampshire. So some of these flat items I have shipped without tracking, and I charge the person I charge the person just about a dollar to put like a name sign. It's a really flat street sign looking thing in a regular envelope however my tracking needs to stay above 95 percent for a top rated status and right now i'm sitting at about a 95.9 percent because the mailman or the post office didn't scan a few items this quarter so i am shipping this first class with tracking and the person paid three dollars Now I have to watch for first class that this is more than a quarter inch or they won't take it. Um, so this is not going to be a quarter inch. So all I'm going to do is stick in a balled up Walmart bag. So I have to go get that. So here we go. Christine, I'm sure you won't realize what this is, but I'll leave you a note later. So now we have a package that is more than a quarter inch, so I'm going to go ahead and weigh it. And she paid $3 for first class mail, and this is weighing about 2.4 ounces, so I round up to three. And three ounces from me in Florida to Christine in New Hampshire is $2.66, so we're good. turn my ring light on. Is that better? That's better. Plus now you can't see all the flaws in my face. Next up is a tank top that I purchased at TJ Maxx. And I have to look through my records And I'd have to look through my records to see how much I paid for this. But I'm going to guess I paid somewhere around $6 to $10. The tank top retailed for over $100. So she paid $3.50. And it weighs 5 ounces. <laughs> it's so light. Yep, still five ounces. 
So five ounces from me to Massachusetts is $2.79. And just in case. And just in case you're wondering, I just have thank you stickers. Normally I put those on after the fact. The next package is a Skirt, I got it the half off Goodwill. So I think skirts are either $4.50 or $4.99. So I paid half of that, so $2.25 to $2.50. And this sold for $9.99. <laughs> this skirt retailed for like $200 and it was in great shape, but I've had it for months, so I'm glad to let it go. And this skirt weighs nine ounces and it's shipping from me to Oregon, Happy Valley. Vanessa, I hope you love your skirt. So nine ounces is $3.34. Now I wanted to check something. I think it used to be that like nine to 13 ounces was about the same, but it's not. 10 ounces is 3.50. 11 ounces is 366. So we're going to go back to the nine ounces. Is that what I said it was? <laughs> yeah, it's 8.2. So nine ounces, $3.33, 34 cents. $3.34. So she paid $5. So we are good. Just down here. <laughs> I startle very easy. The next thing I'm going to ship is a Ralph Lauren sheet. So here's the sheet and Judith paid $9.99. This was just one twin flat sheet. My fingers are not working the best this morning. I've already taken two pills. I've been up since four, which isn't a big deal. I'm up, I'm out of bed, but they're, they're a little stiff this morning. Not even stiff, just very swollen or something. Okay, so Judith wants me to mark on the package, PO put over gate. So I will be sure to do that. And this is shipping priority. She paid $7.50. And this is a fairly heavy sheet. You would think sheets wouldn't be so heavy, but this weighs almost two pounds. So I am going to put it in a flat rate bag. And if you're watching for the first time, I almost always use these flat rate envelopes. They're like a bubble wrap envelope. You can get them on the USPS.com website for free. We are making this fit.
Okay, so she paid $7.50. It's going to cost me $6.90 since it's a flat rate. And just to give you a heads up, I'm in Florida, she's in California. So she's across the country. If I were to ship this just in a regular priority bag, not flat rate, it would cost me more than $10. So I'm glad I fit it in here. It was, it was fine to fit in here. It wasn't even, I had to stuff it, but there we go. And she wants me to write on it. So I'll write on it hot pink so I can't miss it. P.O. put over gate. I'll put it in the back as well. And Judith, I hope you love your sheet. Next is a Boston proper top. And I've probably had this over a year. I loved this top, but there's no size on it. It's an older Boston proper label. It's so pretty. I'm going to refold it since somebody had asked a question about it. It wasn't like my neatest fold when I put it back in the plastic bag. So I wanna make sure it looks as best as it can look for Jennifer in Arizona. I wanted to weigh that before I put the ribbon on because if it was really close to that 15, 16 ounce mark, I didn't want to put a ton of ribbon on. She would have received a thinner ribbon, but we're good, it was only 11 something. So Jennifer in Arizona, here we go. I'm gonna slip it into a poly mailer. And this weighs 12.2 ounces, so we're shipping at the 13 ounce rate. She paid $4, and my cost was $4.10. Next is a vintage sheet that somebody did turn into a shower curtain. When I first found this at the thrift store and they put shower curtain on it, I was having none of it. If you saw my video, I was like, this is definitely not a shower curtain because I've sold this exact sheet before and it's such a specific vintage sheet that I don't even know how I found two of them over the last year. I took it out of the plastic bag so you could really see it. It's so cute. Isn't this adorable? It's got like vintage castles and bunnies and oh, so cute. So Ruth in New York, that's where I'm originally from, paid $7 to ship this and she paid $19.99 for the sheet turned into a shower curtain. And again, she paid $7, I pay $6.90. Thanks, Ruth.
Next item up is a pair of Spanx. They sold like within a day or two. They were so fast. And I got $45 for them. So again, Ashley paid $45 for the leggings and they weigh 7.3 ounces, so they can go first class mail. She was charged $4 and the shipping cost is $3.18 to California. Thanks, Ashley. Next is a J. Jill vest. And I've actually shipped this, took a refund on, Next is a J. Jill Extra Large Petite Vest, and I only mention the size because petites don't do very well for me, but this one did okay. It sold for $20, but this sold twice. I had sold it, shipped it out, taken a return months ago. Maybe I was taking returns back then, or maybe the person was just nice when they asked, and um, she didn't, it didn't fit her correctly, even though I had the measurements. So she paid for shipping back to me. I only refunded the purchase price and I listed it back on eBay and it sold again. So this time it's going to North Carolina. The person doesn't have their first name, but they paid $20 for the vest and $4 for shipping. And this weighs nine ounces. So the cost to me is $3.34. The next item is a two-piece Pretty Angels set. And I just wanted to make sure both items were in here, and I believe they are. Usually on the label, I just put a handwritten label in so I know what the item is. I'll put two-piece set on the sticker, or I'll put one of one, one of two, two of two. So that way I know both pieces are in here. I want to make sure, though. <laughs> yeah, we're good. Got to learn to trust myself a little bit more. Okay, so this is shipping to Denise in New York. She paid $5.50. Put it in one of my poly bags. You'll most often see fish or these, but I have a few floating around from other things. So occasionally you might see one that has bunnies on it or that's bright pink. So it's 7.5 ounces. I round up to eight, always round up, and it's Thanks, Denise. And Denise is also in New York. Ten more things to ship. <laughs> Should have started this earlier, but my body was just not having it this morning. I woke up early. I've, I needed to take a shower. Okay, so next up is a scarf. how pretty this scarf is. So pretty. This scarf I think I got at the bins. I'm pretty sure I did. And 
I just picked it up because I liked how pretty it was and it was wool. Is it wool? Yeah, it's 100% wool. And they sell this brand at Anthropology, but it wasn't exclusive to Anthropology. So although a gazillion people had Anthropology in their titles, I opted not to put Anthropology, which is your own thing if you want to do that or not. So this is shipping to Susan in California. And Susan paid $10.49. It weighs 3.8 ounces, so round up to four. And she paid $3.75 to ship. It's going to California. And for four ounces, first class mail in a poly mailer, it cost me $2.66. Thanks, Susan. Next up is a Fitbit. I found this at the bins, so I highly doubt they even charge me more than a quarter. But then I purchased a charger on Amazon, and I think that was like $3.99. So all in all, I probably have like $4.50 in this or so. And the person paid $11.50. I'm gonna get some bubble wrap. That was way too much ribbon. 2.5 ounces, so I round up to three. And Kim in Indiana purchased this. She paid $4 for shipping and it cost me $2.66. And Next is the brand 31. It's one of their tri-folds, which is great for organizing coupons, or things in the car. And I found this at the bins. It had issues. I tried to do away with the issues. And nope, still has issues. So it sold for $3.24. Didn't cut my ribbon big enough. So Patty is also in Indiana. And she paid again $3.24. And to ship it, she paid $4. And it's six ounces. So six ounces first class mail from me to Indiana costs $2.92. Thanks so much, Patty. I hope you enjoy it. Next is a turquoise swimsuit. I bought a ton of swimsuits. I really think it, it'd be over a year ago now at TJ Maxx on clearance. Some of them were $2, most of them were $4. And for swimsuits, I always ball up tissue paper and kind of put it in the cups, kind of make a sandwich with the tissue paper in half, and that way the cups won't crush down as much. In addition, I'm going to leave air in the zip bag so it can't crush. Okay, so when I found these at TJ Maxx, I sold a good many of them within the first few months. Then I sold a bunch more for like $10, and I have three left. This was one of three. Um, so I think I only have one listed right now, so I have to get that second one listed. But she paid 99 cents. So I actually wound up lose, losing money with this. I might just send the other one to, to thread up because they'll probably give me more than 99 cents. This is going to Lakeisha and Michigan. I 
and it weighs 6.3 ounces. So round up to 7 ounces and Lakeisha paid $4 and this cost $3.05. So I probably broke even on the actual listing and probably made no money on the item, but it's good to have it gone. I made so much in the beginning that, thanks so much, Lakeisha. Next is a bustier that I found at the bins. It was brand new with tags and it also sold for 99 cents. So this isn't going to fit in any of the bags I have. I have 12 by 12 by 15. This is the bigger one, which is this one. And the other one is eight by 10. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide another bag down. So I'll have one bag up, one bag down. And I'm gonna tape around the bottom of it. So it does create that kind of airtight seal. There we go. Now if the mail carrier leaves it out in the mail, not in the mail, <laughs> if the mail carrier leaves it out in the precipitation, the snow, the moisture, the wet rain, you get it. It's not going to soil the garment. Okay, so this is also not fitting, which makes sense, in a 12 by 15 poly mailer, so I'm going to grab a bigger mailer. I have a smaller mailer than this, but we're just gonna go with it. So let's weigh this. Things are, are running amok here. Ow. Oh. It's nine ounces. I thought this was going to be like over a pound. It's not. It's nine ounces. So Jean in Arkansas, pretty sure that's Arkansas. We are going to Google it. You would never know. Jean could be anywhere. You'd be like, oh sure, Jean. Jean in Arizona, Arkansas. But I want to, I want to learn this state. Okay, so Alaska, Arkansas, Arkansas. Jean in Arkansas paid $5, and to ship this, it cost me $3.34. Oh, I hope Jean's getting married. Jean, I'm so happy for you. You're getting married in my head. It's a beautiful wedding. So there we go. I am going to put some of these packages in a large bag that I got from Goodwill. Goodwill got bags. Yay, Goodwill. A giant bag. And I'm gonna put this outside because it's just after nine and my postman almost always comes in the morning. So I don't wanna miss him. Now if he comes and I need to drop packages off, it's no big deal. I have to go to the pharmacy and I have to get some fruit. I'm hoping to be able to do that today. Okay, moving on. We still have a few items left to ship. And the scrunchie didn't sell, so I, I kept it. <laughs> okay, four items left. The next is a whole bunch of Build-A-Bear clothing. I purchased a bunch of Build-A-Bear clothing for $3 at the bins. And this is the first lot that sold. The second lot also sold, but they didn't pay yet. So she paid $9.99 and $8.45 for shipping, which is a very specific <laughs> price. I didn't put that, so I must have used calculated shipping. I don't know that this is gonna fit in a flat mailer. We're, we're gonna check. So cute. Hmm, do we think this is gonna fit in a poly mailer? The shoes are what I'm concerned about. There's so many little shoes. We'll try it. I don't think this is gonna fit a poly mailer. So this weighs over a pound, so I'm gonna have to ship it at a two pound rate because there's no way it's fitting in a poly mailer. 
Got a lot of stuff going on here. And I don't know why eBay charged $8.45. Maybe that's the one pound rate and I thought it was one pound. We'll, we'll see. So calculate the cost for two pounds to California for Allison is going to be $10.48. And if I put it in a regional A box, it's actually more expensive, it's $10.80. So we're just gonna leave this at the two pound rate and put it in a poly mailer. All these little things are so cute. Ooh, I think my fingers are doing better. I hope Allison has a little one who will enjoy this stuff. If not, I'm sure she's gonna enjoy it because she bought it, but I totally get the Build-A-Bear thing. I don't think I've ever been in a Build-A-Bear store before. I might have walked past one forever ago, but everything is so miniature and cute. Okay, next thing to ship. We're getting there. I've got three things. The next is a Dooney and Burke handbag. So here's what it looks like, and I think I paid $10 for this. Not exactly sure. I think I paid $10 and it was at the Goodwill It Takes the Coupons. So in reality, this might have been the thing that took the coupon to lower the price, but I just couldn't tell you that off the top of my head. So we're gonna bubble wrap it. This is going to Cheryl, who lives where my brother lives. Oh, that's fun, Cheryl. You live like an hour and a half north of me. My brother lives in the same town. Okay, so let's put some ribbon on this. Now, this won't really matter how I ship it because she's just down the road from me. Down the road, an hour and a half down the road, but this is so much different than the last scenario with the California shipping. So two pounds priority mail. This is, I'm not gonna put this in a flat rate since I know uh, shipping will be virtually the same. Uh, for two pounds, it's actually a penny cheaper than the flat rate and it costs me $6.89. And if I put this in a regional A box, it's going to cost me $7.10. And Cheryl paid $7 to ship this. So I am gonna put it in a regional A because that way it'll protect it and it'll make a nicer presentation. So gotta go get a regional A box. And I'm back. There's two different sizes of regional A box and they ship with the same thing since they're both regional A. This is kind of the skinnier, taller box and I like it best because it has the self-adhesion. The other one is more squat and you have to do all the taping yourself. But I think this is gonna fit perfectly in here. There we go. Nice and easy. And again, this costs $7.10 because she lives in the same state. Now, you don't have to do this. I'm sure the adhesion is fine, but I always like to put a little extra tape on these. Here we go. Thanks so much, Cheryl. Dymo. Okay, next up, I think we have two more, unless somebody else has paid. I have like 10 items that haven't been paid for. Okay, is a Pokemon hat, and I think I recognize this person. Pokemon hat, so cute. Here it is, and the ears kind of like flop, and then when you wear it, the ears kind of go up a little bit more. <laughs> so good, right? Okay, so this is going to Devin. Thank you, Devin.
now I purchased a whole bunch of just boxes. They're shirt boxes. I also purchased robe boxes and stuff. But these boxes are great for hats. So what I do is I cut vaguely in half. And I just stick the brim in. And that way it doesn't get bent. And then I use the other little piece to put on top and kind of create a sandwich. And then I just wrap the whole thing in tape. I'm gonna put this in a bag. I only have eight by 10 bags here, so I've gotta go get some bigger zipper bags. Bigger bags. And I'm gonna seal this with lots of air inside so it won't squish down. And she paid $4 for shipping and $4.99 for the hat. Oh, it's new roll of ribbon time. I love that time. So I get to go pick some ribbon with my drawer of ribbon. And I'm going to use the white one. That sounds boring, but it has like this glittery strip on the side. You're not going to be able to see it, but it's so metallic-y and pretty. And I got all of this ribbon from the bin. Every time I go to the bin, I pick up any ribbon I can, for the most part. And I cut it too short. <laughs> Now the whole thing's gonna get slipped inside a poly mailer. This weighs 6.1 ounces, so first class mail to Washington at seven ounces is three dollars and five cents. I love these zipper bags. I realize bread bags are cheaper and nothing is even cheaper and would be fine, but I love zipper bags. <laughs> I hit the extra Dymo button label maker. Thanks so much, Devin. One item left. So exciting, and the mail carrier hasn't come. We might make it. Okay, so Paul sent in offer yesterday for a pair of Vince Cashmere Wool Blend joggers that I thought were women's. But after research, I listed them as men's. I was fine, I put all the measurements. And I had them listed for $89.99 and he sent me an offer for $40, which is still a great offer compared to what I purchased them for, which might have been like three to five dollars. I'd have to check, but I got a good deal on them. And I countered, which I wasn't sure whether to do because sometimes after you counter, people disappear, but he paid $50. So he paid $7 for shipping and he's in New York. And I recognize the zip code, and it's a fancy New York zip code, so I'm also going to Zillow this. And because I had just listed them, I didn't even get them put in a bag or processed. They were just sitting on my eBay table. And I'm going to fold them in tissue paper because they're so nice, and they have real leather. A tree branch just moved and startled me. Will this fit around this? Nope. Let's see. I've got green, I've got
got white, I've got blue, I've got pink. I think I'll use the white. I have it, I might as well. Okay, so Paul paid $7 to ship these, and they should fit in a flat rate mailer. He paid seven and a flat rate mailer is six dollars and ninety cents. Okay, before I get any chit chattier, I am going to put these outside so my mail carrier can pick them up. So everything is outside for the mail carrier. I scheduled a pickup last night. Hopefully he comes. And everything is shipped. I still have people who haven't paid from yesterday and one person from the day before. So I'm going to leave feedback for these people. I do have automated feedback on, but it doesn't work mostly. I don't think it works at all. So I'm going to leave feedback and I'm going to check on an item that completely went missing. <laughs> so let's check on that. So if I go into my eBay and scroll down on the left hand side is shipping labels under sell. And I can see all the shipping labels I've printed for, I don't even know how long, maybe a month, two weeks, I don't know. But this person paid for the item and, oh, you could do it for 90 days even. Okay, so I just need to do the last eight days, so 31 days. Okay, so this person paid for an item. I shipped it. It was a very similar item to other items I was shipping that day because it was a FabFitFun thing. And every other item got scanned in and was delivered. And this one doesn't even have a scan. So I called the post office and they didn't know what happened to it. Without saying too much about my post office who does a lot for me and I'm thrilled to have somebody pick up my packages. The post office is not always the most patient or caring. So I called the USPS number and I was on hold for over an hour and they didn't have any information either, but they said I could open up a case uh, on the ninth business day. Yeah, the, the tracking number still isn't showing anything. It wasn't scanned in. And my mail carrier yesterday didn't know, but he wasn't my regular mail carrier. Our route here in Florida gets traded a lot because our mail carrier has a lot of seniority and he takes a lot of vacations, which is awesome for him because I've been in that position. But our mail route gets traded often. So what happened is they bought something, they were excited for it, it was a gift. She contacted me on Saturday after the mail had already left and the post office had closed and she said I didn't get the item and it was the first she had brought the, the item to my attention. And with printing so many, you don't check on every item. <laughs> I think somebody else just paid. Yes. Okay, so I'll get to that in a little bit and I'll just take it with me. But with having so many packages, you don't check to make sure every package is delivered. That would take so much time. So she contacted me Saturday afternoon, let's say the post office had already closed. I couldn't call them. I couldn't do too much about it other than look and say, yeah, you're right. It didn't get scanned in. It's not going to make it for your Tuesday party. So I was communicating back and forth and she was frustrated, rightly so, because the package wasn't going to come and she was excited about it. It was a FabFitFun massage roller. And so here's what I did. I don't do this often. <laughs> If you're looking to scam me, I probably won't do this again because of how it turned out. But I offered to refund her in full and have Amazon ship two-day mail another massage roller for free. And if she ever gets this one, she's welcome to keep it. And I'll keep an eye on it and call back and file a case for it with the USPS website. With the USPS. So she said, yes, that would be great. So I went on Amazon. I found one on Prime. That was massage roller. It was aqua instead of orange. I said, this is the item. Is this going to be okay? It's a different color. And she said, oh my goodness, that's fine. 
so much thank you so much so i sent the item i gave her the tracking number yesterday amazon delivered the massage roller and she writes me back and she says she has no words because of how unhappy and frustrated she is and i was surprised because i refunded her the item i called the post office i followed up with her I sent her a free one from Amazon, so it got there in time for her friend's gift. And I said, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, what happened? Thinking the item might have gotten lost, but Amazon was showing it delivered. And she said, I got it, it's nothing like the FabFitFun one. I thought it was gonna be the same exact. Which is frustrating as a seller because I did everything I could, like, I did everything I could. So I said, oh, I'm so sorry. I." thought again i didn't want to outright say like no i definitely sent you what it was but i sent a screenshot and i said i thought i explained it was different this is the one on amazon you can't send links through ebay but i gave her the exact title i said please look it up blah 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 so i said she got it monday yesterday so i said there's really nothing i can do at this point i'm so sorry i can't have amazon send you another one she right back we've she wrote back we've gone back and forth probably a dozen or more times again i'm trying to be so professional so nice so frustrating didn't show her my frustration if she watches this she's gonna see it and i said i really can't do anything else for you at this point it's monday evening i think she got it last night you're leaving tomorrow morning for your friend the only thing I can think to do now is to send you another one from another person on eBay. Like just buy somebody else's item, send it to her, and it's just not gonna make it in time. I can send it to your niece, I can, I'm so sorry. Nobody on Amazon is selling the exact FabFitFun one. She said no, she's just really frustrated. She has no words, she can't believe it. She said that a few times. So I wrote back and I said, I'm so sorry, like I just kept apologizing. And long story short, I offered to pay for their pizza, I offered for them to go out to dinner. I just really wanted this person to be happy because starting out, she was very kind. Obviously, it was just miscommunication. And we were writing back and forth a lot. She said, no, it's fine. I'm sure she won't even notice. So at that point, after I offered to pay for them to have lunch or pizza or something, she she was okay but she hasn't left me feedback <laughs> so i'm still a little leery and i'm hoping the item shows up it didn't get sand in it didn't there's nothing i can do and other packages were also shipped that day the same exact item the, the wrap the same exact way everything got tissue paper bubble wrap poly mailer everybody else has been thrilled with the item and i've had I think I sold eight of them. All the FabFitFun boxes had them and I had 10, but I kept one and I gave one away as a giveaway. So I don't know if you were a seller, is there anything else I could have done in this situation? I kept it super nice, super professional. I think I went above, but I've, I don't think I've had an item ever not scanned that I can remember, I'm sure I have, but maybe somebody hasn't told me. I just don't know what to do at this point. So I'm going to keep an eye on it. I'm going to file a case and let her know I filed a case and here's the case number. But this item has just completely disappeared. I don't have another one to ship. She bought my last one, so I'm so sorry. So that's everything. So now I have to I think I'm gonna to try to make it to the pharmacy. I have to call the pharmacy and make sure they have all my scripts ready. And I really need some fruit. I'm, I have one apple left and fruit is a majority of my diet. So that's what I'm gonna to do today. And to straighten up, I have some items that I listed over Sunday night, Monday, that need processed. So they need um, put in a plastic bag just went over like a 14th time and make sure there's no flaws um, and really check them over before I package them and put them in my tubs and then we'll see how I'm doing. I think that's all that needs done though. The house is clean. The car is clean. I didn't do either one of those. Thank you husband. I have something in my eye. 
and I think that's what I'm gonna do with my day. Yeah, I don't even think I'm gonna put makeup on today. It's just gonna be one of those days. So I'm gonna leave you back, and then I'm gonna package that person's item. Um, but that's everything. Feel free to ask questions. Feel free to ask where I got any of my supplies. I keep a link on my Instagram. So if you click my Instagram down below in the description box, you can find that over there. But I never mind answering questions. I still have time on my hands. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.